آخر الفرقان طاوى فجنا خام نطرانا من الخيام اللقيا مالي خيامنا خيامنا موت صوت الشبح وطلع مرد كل باب برونا وقد شرمي آمين 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 كل عمال لا I'm not 
And he cried, saying, O oh, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And those who were going before Jesus rebuked him, telling him to keep quiet. But he cried the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded them to call him to him. As he came near, Jesus asked him, 
saying, What do you wish, wish me to do for you? He answered, My Lord, that I may see. And Jesus said to him, See, your faith has healed you. And he saw immediately and followed him, <coughs> praising God. And all the people who saw it give praise to God. And when Jesus entered and passed through Jericho, there was a man named Zacchae, Zacchaeus, who was rich and chief of tax collectors. And he wanted to see who Jesus was, but he couldn't because of the crowd, for Zacchae was short. So he ran ahead of Jesus and, cl and, and climbed up into the leafless fig tree that he may see him because he was to pass that way. When Jesus came to, to that place, he saw him and said to him, Make haste, come down, O Zacchaeus, for today I must stay at your house. So he hastened and came down and welcomed him with joy. Now when they all saw it, they murmured, saying, he has entered to stay in the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus rose up and said to Jesus, Behold my Lord, half of my wealth I will give to the poor, and I will pay fourfold to every man from whom I have extorted. Jesus said to him, Today life has come to this house because he also as a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and save that which was lost.
Sure. 
مری مرد لگو جنوبا الا فروخو پاسیده من بیشه و خیلوته Actually, today was from Luke chapter 18, verse 35, until chapter 19, verse 1, to verse 9. In this chapter, actually, our Lord Jesus Christ one day passed by a man who was blind. By a man who was blind and was sitting by the roadside and begging and asking everyone to help him. This man, actually, the life forced him and his health situation, been blind and to sit on the roadside and his blindness look was actually some people as they were looking to him as a punishment from divine punishment for his sin. It wasn't allowed him to mix him with a crowd or even pray with them in the temple. He said begging to, re to relay on the mercy of the, of the other and their quality he was not accepted by his family and left on the roadside. His blindness makes him dependable on the other to lead him to the place to live if he has a house to live. He is a bigger meaning man felt to find his place in society. There is no future for him. And he was thinking to fill his tummy with food. The blind man and poor sitting on the roadside, two characters wanted Lord Gospel to describe to us the situation of the death of mind, of man, socially and religiously. When the opportunity came to this man to live, the crowd silenced him. They wanted to bury him alive and silence his voice. He heard about Jesus of Nazareth, and he wished of someone to take him and show him Jesus Christ. He never thought that our Lord Jesus himself will pass in front of him. And even if he passed, he is unable to see him because he cannot see. His condition made him a believer, and his blindness, poorness, and his inability saw in him the seeds of faith. Physically and social misfortunes were not keeping him out of the experience of God, but he made him a believer who prays every day this prayer, seek his face, seek his face, your face, Lord, I will see. Psalm 27, verse 8. And now, the face of our Lord is shining on him. The Lord came to this man. The time didn't ex expect it. And at our he never thought about it. But when he heard the crowd going by and he was unusual to hear such a sound, he asked what was happening. 
they told him Jesus of Nazareth is passing by, who gives sight to blind and life to the dead. The passing of our Lord gave him the power to scream by his faith, asking mercy. The mercy is to stand in front of Jesus face to face. His blindness was shining you who is passing. Christ is the son of David, the savior, not Jesus of Nazareth. People were saying about Jesus. The many people who were around Jesus didn't know who was Jesus of Nazareth. Despite they had eyes, but the blind man knew that is the Jesus Christ, the savior whom God promised his people. That's why he called out Jesus son of David. Have mercy on me. Ahead of this faith, ahead of this calling, our Lord stands to look for who is looking for him as a response action from our Lord to those who are praying. And in this case, our Lord became a researcher for a blind man. Our Lord asked him, what do you want me to do for you? This question had a lot of meaning Jesus is trying to say to this blind man, for me, you are not a beggar. You are one who, who God has sent me for. That's why I am talking to you and I am asking you to praise God with me. The life of this man has changed because our Lord actually passed in front of him. He became a man walking behind Jesus Christ, the other to be sitting on the other side of road and begging again. And in this gospel, actually, there is another story, another episode, which is the Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, we call it in Assyria. His, his name actually means clean. He was actually chief of the tax collector, not, not as a tax collector. He was chief of the tax collector. That means there were a lot of people they were they were working under his his authority. And this man actually was hated by his people because he was chief of the tax collector. That means he was working with the Roman Emperor, which is he working with the enemy of his people. They they the people of God, Jewish, they were looking to this man as a man of heresy, because he working with the, uh, he, he, has, he is actually far from the people of God because he working with the Roman Gentiles. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through that, uh, passing through, and, and Zacchaeus Zacchae wanted to see Jesus, but the crowd again, no, the crowd again here stopped him because he was short actually. And instead of crying to Jesus as a blind man did, he climbed a lip, lipless figure tree to see him because Jesus was to passing through that way. Here also Jesus looked to him as he did in the, in, in the first actually story. Jesus looked to that man. He went to, to the blind man. Here also too, Jesus went to Zacchaeus and extends himself hospitality in, 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 Zacchae, in, in Zacchaeus' house. Jesus changed the, tax, the chief of tax collector life and said to him, today salvation has come to this house. And instead of cheating people, he became works of righteousness. He is no longer a sinner. He resolves to change his way. The presence of Jesus makes possible what is humanly impossible. This is how Jesus changed the lives of the two people. The blind man, the poor man, wants from our Lord to see, not to come back and to distinguish between poor people and rich and ask, to, and ask them what he needed or to go to the city in search of work. He received his sight, and he went with our Lord to Jerusalem to see him on cross. He became Jesus' disciple. 
he he was outside the way of our the, the way of our Lord and he entered the way of our Lord because Christ was close to him and he responded to this graceful approach Zacchaeus is a rich man the first man was poor man and Zacchaeus is a rich man but salvation can come to his heart to his house because he gives half of his goods to the poor because Jesus passed in front of him. In another way, he entered his house, he entered his heart, he entered his mind and changed his life completely. Our Lord passes and now we can see too what happened to the blind man and Zacchaeus too in our life because our Lord passes in front of our life dozens of times. But we are often desperate, uh, desperate because of our difficulties. So we cannot pray or cry because we do not believe sometimes. We do not believe that there are those who take care of us. Our Lord Jesus never promised us life without cross. He made the cross central of our Christianity. That's why we need to see Jesus. We need to actually hear Jesus. As a blind man, he heard him. And Jesus changed his life. And Zacchaeus, he was short. The crowd actually stopped him. As a crowd stopped that blind man too. But nevertheless, actually, he climbed, he climbed in the fig tree. The leafless tree, as the Bible said, which is without fruit. And Zechai made for that tree to bear fruit. And the fruit was Zechai himself. The fruit that God accepts this sinner as a son of Abraham. He accepts him and he changes life. That tells the Jesus Christ, if we leave Jesus to pass in front of us and see him, and ask him have mercy on us. That's why when Jesus actually heard our voice, can hear our voice and see us, he will stop by and ask us, what do you need for me to do for you? He will tell everybody, what do you need from me? And in that time, you don't need to ask him anything because he knew 100% what you need from him as a son of man. May our Lord bless you and bless your family as well and guide you in your life and bless your business, whatever you do for life. May our Lord protect you always. Amen and amen. amen. I want only to, to tell you this, uh, my brother and sister. When we actually do the Holy Corbana during the Mass, the Holy Corbana, we mix the body uh, with blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why you don't need it to, uh, to mix it again because we do that. And, uh, and by the way, when, when Deacon is uh, outside with a, with a cup of, uh, of blood of Jesus Christ, that means you cannot touch the cup also itself. That's why you see Deacon actually with a, we call it Shoshipa, the white, uh, white uh, curtain with him, you know. That means he cannot actually, Deacon also cannot touch him. Only one person can touch that cup. Uh, which is on the plate, which is the priest himself. And please, all those things I'm trying to explain it to you. When you come to receive the Holy Corbana, you will receive the Holy Corbana. If you don't want to drink from the blood, you are actually fine because we already mix it with the blood when we when we do when we celebrate the Holy Eucharist. May our Lord bless you, let us all kneel down and ask our Lord to forgive our trespasses and our sins and make us worthy to receive his body for this occasion. Amen. 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 O our good and merciful God, whose grace and compassion I pour uh, out upon all, pour out, my Lord, your compassion and kindness upon these your servants. Change them through the hope of renewal again to a changed life. Renew within them your Holy Spirit, with which they were sealed into the day of salvation. Purify them in your compassion from all defilement of flesh and spirit. Strengthen the hope of their faith through the assistance of your grace. Guide the steps of their ways and the pathways of righteousness and grant them 
delight with the, with the sense in your kingdom through the truth of the hope of their faith and adoption of sons, and gladness in the absolving mysteries, strengthen them through the assistance of your mercies, that they may keep your commands and fulfill your will and confess, worship and praise your holy name, O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen.